But let's look at an example of this uh, op amp circuit. And here I have the parameters: one kilo ohm to one kilo ohm. So the this the R two is ten k, and C is 0 0.1 microfarad. So these are the parameters we know. And the first thing we want to find the trans function T V. So I'm gonna write beside these so that I I can see the circuit. So T V, so I'm writing the number one here. So T V S gonna be equal V two S over um V one S and in that case that should be equal negative Z two S over Z one S if we have um the parallel so the z2 so this will become z2 and this will become z1 okay and in that case we need to and we recognize this is an inverting so if this if the amplifier is if the uh, r1 is connected to the ground and then you are feeding the signal between the uh, non-inverting terminal and the uh, reference point, the ground, and then in that case you will get um, you will get a non-inverting amplifier. So in this case we have the inverting amplifier. So therefore we have this uh, relationship here, and we recognize z sub s is going to be equal one over the sum of the admittances, which is one over r two plus and and our Z1 S is just equal R1 S R1. The T V S is equal to the trans function is going to be equal to negative. We have a one over um, one over R2 plus C S and then divided by R1. So I'm gonna write R1 in the denominator here. I also want to get the form of one plus cs or something like that so what i do is multiply the numerator and denominator by uh, r2 over r1 so let's see how that goes r2 over r1 i'm gonna get uh, tv is gonna be equal to negative i'm multiplying r2 over r1 i'm multiplying these by r2 over r1 so the R1, R2 is on the numerator, I get R2 over R1. On the denominator, I get a 1 plus. So R1 being canceled, so I'm going to get S, um, R2 times C times S. But I also want to get S over something. So in that case, that's R1 uh, over R, R2 times C. And we recognize this, the R2 over R2 times C, that's the time constant, right? That's the tail. The time constant in this case we have 10k uh, and times 0.1 times 10 to the negative 6.1 micro and therefore we got that this is equal to 1 millisecond r2 over r1 that's equal 10k divided by 1k so we got a 10 so therefore the trans function we have here at tvs is just equal uh, 10 over uh, s 1 plus s over 1000 right because the 1 over 1 millisecond that's a thousand so in this this is the trans function and if we look at this trans function at low frequency so the t uh, tv0 if we do the db that's going to be 20 log uh, 0 10 over one so we got a 20 db at, at zero frequency so at low frequency we basically get a flat line 20 db at a high frequency what do we get and a high frequency so this is basically our t max i think the second point second question is determine omega c and also figure out the pass band again um t max and this is going to be the t max and for the omega c, that's quite clear. Omega c is going to be equal to a thousand radian per second, right? So this is the number two. This is the number one. So number three, we're going to sketch the body plots using straight lines. Okay. Uh, so let's sketch the game plot. So in that case, we got. Um, let's see, we got a T V J omega. We're going to sketch this in D B. And at low frequency, we know that's going to be uh, 20 dB per decade, 
uh, 20 dB constant, right? So this is 20 dB, and a high frequency, there are going to be negative uh, 20 dB per decade slope. So the corner frequency here would be uh, would be a thousand omega c, right? So that's a thousand or one k, one k uh, radian per second. The horizontal axis is radian per second, and the uh, at here let's see this is going to be 10k, right? Because let's see this is a read, this is zero dB line. And for the phase, for the phase, if we do this, so in this case the phase is O. Oh, did I miss that uh, negative sign there? Yes, I did. So there is a negative sign here. There should be a negative sign here, right? So this this doesn't really change the thing here, but it will change the phase. Um, so in this case, uh, the phase angle, let's see. So we, at low frequency, we have the angle of negative 10, right? Angle of negative 10, you can start with uh, on 180 or you can start with negative 180 but normally we want this um, the phase plot stay between plus 180 and negative 180 if possible so in that case we will start with 180 because the phase angle is gonna drop right so since we have this uh, the phase angle in your data angle that should be equal the angle of negative 10 minus the angle of the uh, numerator, which is the arctangent omega over uh, thousand, right? So therefore, there will be a transition period, or uh, transition interval, or two decades. Uh, so we're gonna have here. So this is ten one k. So we have a ten k. So at a at a high frequency, uh, at a low frequency, we got uh, one eighty. So this is 100 hertz radian per second. So I'm gonna draw this to, to this point. So stay 180, and then at that get above the corner frequency or cutoff frequency, we get uh, 90 degrees below that. So this is 90 degrees in between. And so this is gonna be the 90 degrees line. And in between, we get the drop uh, at 45 degrees, negative 45 degrees per decade and of course here at the corner frequency we should have in the middle which is 135 degrees right so that's the um, that's the example for simple uh, first order low pass filter with the not with the inverting amplifier okay let's look at the high pass filter what what the uh, frequency response look like in the next video clip